So this is Kingsley. He's an old man. He has zero teeth. So that's why I'm feeding him this mushy food. And as you can see, uh, Muffin and Gunner are just waiting for something to drop because they get dry food. But poor baby wears a diaper too because his bladder is really weak and he pees everywhere. So Muffin has issues with her eyes. So I have to constantly clean her eyes and medicate her eyes. Gunner is super anxious and yeah, I have to watch him. And then you have Raja over there, my Sphinx cat, who is like a dog, but she's actually hanging out right now. But I love them all. And then you guys will meet my chameleon, Aura, who's amazing, but she'll probably be hiding. And I just found I was kind of starving her because the crickets were getting out of the crate. So now I like have to super make sure that the crickets are in there and the worms, the worms aren't going anywhere. So those are my animals. And I want more. And Whitney's not about it. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I am Andy Apollino. This is Kingsley. And welcome to my house. I'm going to show you what it's like a day in the life of India. It's random, but you get to see what today's like. So come on. Oh, by the way, so as you can see, we have a whole lot of dead plants around here. Yes, me and Whitney have a project to do. I'm really excited. Just gotta make sure our flowers don't die. So, Brett's playroom. My goodness. There's, it's a huge mess, which I have to clean up because it's driving me insane. And then we have this crib that isn't 100% taken apart because Whitney couldn't find the Allen wrench that fit. So when he gets home tonight, he has some work to do. This is Breton's room. So Breton's room is not finished. We just, um, they're gonna bark. So Breton's room is super plain right now because we are transitioning his baby room crib and changing back all that into a bigger boy room. There's another room over there, an office, and the pool um, bathroom. And this is the kitchen that I hate. <laughs> I don't like this kitchen. Um, it needs to be remodeled and updated or whatever, but it's totally fine because we're gonna move. We're not gonna stay here, so it stays the same. So my fitness journey started actually when I was working as a police officer. You know, at times, like there was some nights we had a little bit of free time and so there was not much to do at three, four or five in the morning. So I'd look at fitness magazines and I'd see these women and they were just like beautiful and in shape and just, it was different because I was like, I wasn't even hundred pounds, you guys, yeah. I was like this little boy body, like stick figure and no matter how much I ate or what I did, I could not break a hundred pounds. I saw a girl um, who I'm actually friends with now, interesting, crazy, and um, she was on the Arnold Classic stage. I had no idea what the Arnold Classic was. I didn't even know what a show was. I just knew that she was in this bikini and she looked freaking like, it was like glamorous and it looked awesome and she was gorgeous and she was in shape and I wanted to do that. It was a show in Fort Lauderdale. So my first show was the Fort Lauderdale Cup. It's, it's a pretty big show. Um, but again, I didn't know the difference. So I reached out to the girl who I saw in the magazine, her coach. Um, she actually lived in Fort Lauderdale too. And um, I went up, uh, visited her and um, the coach. She's like, all right, train your ass off and you can do the show. I'm like, the show's in a week. <laughs> I'm like, don't I have to train for like a bunch? She goes, no, you'll be fine, you'll be ready. And I'm like, what the hell? So um, I did, I trained my ass off. like. Cause I was training, but I was training with dudes. I was, you know, I, which I think is what most women do in the beginning. Like they have their, their boyfriend or their guy friends. They're like, let's go to the gym. And they're like, yeah, I'm doing like all these workouts that like realistically isn't gonna get you that bikini body, but you just do it. And um, so I learned to train for this specific physique and um, I did my first show. I won, I got, I won novice, got second and open. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Loved it. I actually um, was contacted and was flown out to Germany for the biggest fitness expo, uh, FIBO. It was awesome because I had only done one show. My second show ever was the Arnold Amateur, uh, which is 
huge. That's how it went. It was literally, I kind of danced around the whole like thing for a little bit and when I decided to go in. You know what I think is very important is when you don't put pressure on yourself, like it's, it's important to really push yourself but don't put pressure. I had no idea what I was doing. So there was absolutely no pressure. I was having fun and it just, honestly just went so amazing. It was, I had no idea, oh, I'm gonna get flown out here. And then I was on a cover of a magazine and then like another cover and then this spread and that spread. And, and, and so many different things started happening um, from me just doing that one show and just going after what I really wanted to do. I'm gonna show you Aura. It's our new chameleon. Been so I have her covered up because she, um, Chameleons stress very easily, and I don't like that every time I open the door, she gets really scared. And probably, there she is, she's in the back over there. She was up there, now she's climbing down. I actually have to mist her. So I bought this automatic mister, and I still haven't hooked it up, so honestly, like I think I haven't hooked up the, the um, automatic mister because I actually like doing this. Like She helps me focus, believe it or not. Winnie! What are you doing? <laughs> you look like you're running. What are you doing? I know. Are you, you're ru Oh, it's not running. You just look like... Yeah, let's go. Yeah. And then our meeting is at 1 o'clock. Yep, head to the airport for 4.45 flight. And I'll be home landing around 8 o'clock. Hey, I thought it was 7.30. No, I'll land at 8. Oh, so I have to ship my last pair of bands. Whitney has been like... So amazing, he, he celebrates my wins. He gets so excited when I accomplish anything. Like, so it's nice to have somebody just as excited as you are about goals that you have. Okay, so animals are fed. I'm gonna ship my last pair of bands. I need to make that order actually today and then I'm gonna go to Starbucks and do some work. I usually change it up, so sometimes I do my work here at home. Um, if I have mostly calls, I'll do it at home because it has to be quiet, like whether it's like business calls or personal development calls. Um, but I'm gonna do most of my emails and some stuff that I have to do that I have to send out. So let's go do that. Um, let me go get the bands. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, are you filming? Here we go. Woo! Party in my car! I gotta be careful because every time I start dancing in my car, I go faster. So I need to like be careful. Yes! This is, this is what moms do when the kids aren't in the car. Avocado. So we're here at Zona Fresca and this is my food. These are the salsas. So actually Whitney was the one that like taught me about this place. I had no idea. Um, I would have probably never been came in because it's not a place that I think like, toward. <laughs> I guess from looking at it in the outside, but the food is so good. And when I have a really busy day or I don't feel like cooking or whatever, like it's a good option, so. That felt good. Now I can actually focus on my work. I meet my birth photographer here a lot. She's my favorite, I love her. Like, as if I have births all the time. So we're here at Starbucks. I'm going to get my emails done and create some stuff for some upcoming events that I have. Um, I love coming here because it's away from my house. I do work from my home most of the time, but it's like nice to get away. Um, my almond milk latte. And oh, so for coffee lunch, because I know there's many of you, keto bomb instead of creamer. Replace it with this and it's awesome. I'm personally not using this, but um, this is caramel macchiato. It's done. So I'm gonna get this done and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple other things that I need to get done and then it's time to train. So on super busy days, this is 
where I train in my garage. So we're still working on the home gym here. Um, Whitney's actually putting it all together and I think it's an amazing. We have what we need for the most part. We're still getting in some new equipment and stuff. So really excited and it works for the busy, busy days like today. So like I said earlier, I am slacking on the upper body. I haven't been training consistently at all. So I'm gonna do a quick upper body, a quick shoulder workout more specifically before I pick up Brian. I have Kid Bop on here. This gym saves my life. I love working out in here. It's freaking hot so you sweat and you feel like you really accomplished something even on those days that you're dragging like today. I had no sleep last night. Um, so, I can blast my music. I can most times wear whatever the hell I want. And I just have my own little world in here. And I'm home and I'm super close to, you know, getting Breton. So, like, there's no nothing. Like, my mind is completely free. And it's awesome. So yay, my favorite part of the day, I get to pick up Brian. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's like, his face just lights up and it makes me so happy. All right, so shipping my last pair of bands. Hi, how are you? 6.37. You too, thank you. So I'm here picking up baby boy, so wait right here and I'm gonna go inside and get him. One, two, three, woo! Hey boy! Be hola! Hi boy! Look out Bratton, Bratton time. Um, feed him, play with him, and then put him to bed in a few hours. So thank you so much for spending the day with me. I had fun and um, yeah. <laughs> Say bye, Brian. Brian. See, he's like, I missed you, Mama. No, he does it like he because there's people in the house and he gets super attached to me. So I'm just gonna spend some time with him. But say bye. Dile bye. Yeah. No. See you later, buddy. <laughs>